Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In the last tutorial, we made a super simple custom application combined with SMPP simulator. This video is pretty much about where you can go, what you can do next, starting from the previous lesson. In the future lesson, we'll be advancing into theories and principles regarding SMPP protocol. Theories would be no use if we are not able to use them. So, we'll also have some hands-on experiments in the future lessons. We might be using the Eclipse debugger to watch the changes in the numbers and data. Hope this video can equip you for the future lessons. So far, we already have our SMPP up and running. The next thing we can do is to continue building our application, enhancing it or adding some more features and stuff. Also, you can dive into the source code of the SMPP, leveraging the debugger of the Eclipse. For example, you can actually try investigating how these classes work, or you might want to know more in details about these classes. Now, if you are familiar with Eclipse, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you are new to Eclipse, however, I'm going to introduce a little bit about Eclipse Debugger. Firstly, let's start from the main class of SMPP, this one. I'm going to put the console window a little bit down to make the editing area larger. Then let's set a breakpoint. Run. Toggle breakpoint. And you can see a little circle in the front of the line 217. Let's stop all the running programs. Click on the red square. We've been using the run as to fire up the program. But this time, let's go for a debug as. Allow access. Now, Eclipse is asking if you want to open the perspective. Yes, you need it. And you have all the debugging tools. Now the program is paused at the line 217 at the breakpoint. Click this button, step over. You execute the statement at the line 217 and get ready to execute the next statement. It doesn't have to be the next line because there is nothing wrong happened when executing the line 217 the statements in the catch block won't be executed. Let's try another example of breakpoint debugging. This time, I'm gonna set my breakpoint here, line 227, and then run, toggle breakpoint, stop the program, debug again. Now the program paused at the line 217 because there is a breakpoint. I'll click the resume button here. The program will pause at the next breakpoint, which is line 227. Click step over. The program paused at the next statement. Now I want to know the details of the variable props. I'll use the expression tab. Go to the window. Show view and expressions. Click this add button and type the variable you want to see. Let's say props. There, we have a detailed information of the props. Expand this. Scroll through the list. Maybe nothing interesting is happening. Also, when you hover your mouse cursor over the variable, you can also see some information about the variable. Like this string variable, properties file name is conf double slash smpp dots props. Next statement. Let's see if there is any changes with Variable props. Well, there's something changed, but I'm not interested. Step over to the next statement. Entry sets. Not interested. Table. That's a good one. I can find those key value pairs, which is the essence of the props variable. Delivery receipt optional params. 
this property is true? Well, there are some other properties for us to discover. Eclipse Debugger is gonna help a lot. Okay, so much for the Eclipse Debugger. I'm gonna quit the debugger and go back to the project editing. Window. Perspective. Close perspective. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.